Good day everyone. My name is Abigail Lucero and I'm about to report Pigafetta and Seven Days in Mazua and the Age of Exploration. Before we dig deeper in this discussion, let us first know who is Pigafetta. Antonio Pigafetta was the geographer and scribe of the group. So basically, Pigafetta is an expert in studying physical features of earth or landforms. Being an observer, he recorded not only names of places and vocabulary of natives, but also their food, attire, customs, and traditions too. The Seven Days in Mazua On the first day, March 28, Holy Thursday, what happened here is that Magellan and his company exchanged gifts with the natives. And in the same day that afternoon, they anchored near the native king's village. The second day, the next day is Holy Friday. Another exchange of gifts was made wherein the native king brought two members of Magellan's expedition as guests for the night. One of the two is Pigafetta. So as guests of the native king, Pigafetta and his companions spent the previous evening feasting and drinking with the kings and his son. The third day, the following morning, on Saturday, Pigafetta and his company took leave of their hosts and returned to the ships. In the early morning of Sunday, March 31, the first Mass was celebrated and in the afternoon, they planted a cross on the summit of the highest hill, which was both attended by the King of Mazwa and the King of Butuan. On Monday, April 1, Magellan sent men ashore to help with the harvest in exchange of Mazwa's king's help to conduct Magellan to Zubu. But no work was done because the two kings were sleeping off their drinking about the night before. It is only in April 2 on Tuesday and Wednesday when work on the harvest initiated. On April 4, Thursday, Magellan and company leave Mazwa bound for Cebu. So, according to primary sources available, a crucial aspect of Butuan River was not mentioned. Butuan is a river in settlement situated on the Aguzan River. The next is the Age of Exploration. In history, the Age of Exploration is a period of competition among European rulers to conquer and colonize lands outside their original domains. Initially, the goal was to find alternative routes by sea to get to Asia the main source of spices and other commodities. During the 15th and 16th centuries, leaders of several European nations sponsored expeditions in hope that explorers would find great wealth and vast undiscovered lands. So Spain's major foray into the exploration was through Christopher Columbus, who proposed to sail westward to find a shortcut to Asia. So Christopher Columbus, who is he? Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer who stumbled upon the America and whose journey marked the beginning of centuries of colonization. Spain colonized parts of North America, Mexico, and South America in the 16th century. They were also able to reach the Philippines and claim it for the Spanish crown. Later on, the other European rulers would compete with the activities of exploring and conquering land. Now, it must be pointed out that later on, after Magellan's death, the survivors of his expeditions went to Mindanao and seemingly went to Butuan. In this instance, Pigafetta vividly describes a trip in a river, but note that this account already happened after Magellan's death. 